buying random things from Walmart and seeing if they work. Bam! Maybe something like this. <laughs> Just kidding, that would probably be selfish, right? <laughs> right? What about this? Longchamp meat slicer. If you haven't guessed it yet, we're making musubis. Let's go. First things first, we're gonna make our rice. If you don't know how to make rice, you're a walking red flag. Then we're gonna get our meat slicer out. Two hours later. All right, All right we got our spam. And if you don't like spam, red flag. Straight to jail. A lot of times the spam doesn't really wanna just come out. Something I learned, just poke a hole in the top or a couple and it still doesn't come out. There we go. We got it just where we want it. Now for the moment of truth. Oh my gosh, that's perfect. And I already know what the haters are gonna say. Johnny, you can just cut it yourself. Ain't nobody got time for that. Next, we're gonna cook our Spam. Perfect. Next, you're gonna lay yourself down some plastic wrap. That, kinda. We're gonna cut the nori to musubi size. So what I like to do, put the musubi maker on top, fold the top, and it shows me just where to break it. As you can see, now we have a perfect fold, and it should just come right off. All right, you're gonna set your damp musubi maker right in the middle. Then we're gonna add some rice, about a quarter way full. We're gonna stomp it down, just like that. Then we're gonna add some furikake, and if you don't like furikake, believe it or not, also jam. Gonna add your golden brown spam right on top, and teriyaki sauce. Add more rice to the top. So we're gonna stomp it down, lift up. Then we're gonna take both ends, fold it together, just like that. Now the plastic wrap is on the bottom so you could fold it up and save it for later, but I'm hungry now. And there you have it, Hawaiian Power Bar. Go try it out. Perfect.